Multiple law enforcement agencies are investigating a New Year's Eve shooting along I-75. They say a car was shot into and some people stopped to help. News Channel 8's Alessandra Young spoke to those Good Samaritans who stopped to help. The new year could have started differently for the family of a shooting victim. Florida Highway Patrol says the shooting happened along I-75, and I spoke to the brother and sister that stopped to help and drove that victim to the hospital. Michael and Michelle Van Vliet were on their way to a fireworks show for New Year's, but they did not have the night they were expecting. And we seen in front of us a car veer to the right across the lane of traffic, and it rode off the road, not into a ditch, but just into the grass. So we pulled over immediately in front of mile marker 226 and noticed that the car was smoking. Like something's not right. So we didn't really look at each other and say, hey, should we pull, o should we pull over? I just, pull we just pulled over. Michelle was behind the wheel of her Ford when she saw the car swerve. It just happened so quickly in front of us. Um, then you saw the smoke, um, you know, I, uh, I couldn't, I would um, be very upset with myself if I did not stop. The siblings thought the car was on fire and called 911. We seen people scatter out of the car like roaches. And a um, kid came running up to the truck and uh, he said, I'm shot, I'm shot. They say they put the victim in the truck and put pressure on the wounds and took off towards a hospital. He had a one shot, I believe it was on the left side, about three inches below his nipple, and then he had another gunshot in his stomach. We need to focus on getting him to this hospital, okay, so that he has a chance. Highway Patrol is working together with Hillsboro and Manatee County Sheriff's offices. They say the victim was traveling northbound on I-75 near mile marker 226 in Palmetto when they were shot at by another car. Highway Patrol says the victim was shot twice and tons of bullet holes were found in the vehicle. At the hospital, Michelle says they waited for the victim's mother to arrive and also spoke with her today. She said surgery went well and, um, and he's recovering well and she just thanked me very much for, you know, caring for her son. He would have bled out and probably died. That's what I think would have happened. I don't know if anybody else would have pulled over. I mean, it was New Year's. Yes, my brother and I, we could have just kept on, you know, driven. We could have stopped. We could have been shot ourselves. But guess what? You know, it's, it's a chance you take. Um, I just, uh, people need to look out for people a lot more than, than what we have been in society today. Highway Patrol says they do not have a description of the suspect's vehicle and is asking anyone with information to come forward. In Tampa, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.